Good evening and welcome to 6-1. Thousands of people have taken part in silent vigils across Northern Ireland today in protest at the recent murders by dissident Republicans. In Belfast, Derry, Newry and Lurgan, crowds of people gathered to express their outrage at the shooting dead of soldiers Patrick Adzimkar and Mark Quincy in Antrim at the weekend and the killing of police constable Stephen Carroll in Craigavon on Monday. They gathered in Northern Ireland, cities conscious that in Westminster, the Dáil and the Vatican, their place was in the news again for all the wrong reasons. They stood during the moments of silence, reflecting on what a policeman's wife told a BBC radio phone-in about how the murder of Constable Stephen Carroll had affected her 12-year-old son. He'd heard the gossip at school and things like that. He was so distressed. He came in and he's now got anxiety. He's got stress. He's 12. Um, we thought we had left this all behind. He went to bed last night crying and holding his father, not wanting his daddy to go back out to work this morning. That's the reality of the terror. That's the reality in my home. It's just so horrific to think that we'd have to go back to those days again. Um, my children have to, had to grow up on it, and it was just a terrible, terrible and unnatural time, so I really don't want that for my grandchildren. I think it's very important for the people of Northern Ireland, and indeed anybody else from the Republic of Britain, to send out a very clear signal that we want peace, and we will not stand for a return to violence. Those days are long gone. The feeling of unity against a common enemy which pervaded the rallies was also mirrored in an historic first-ever meeting between the Sinn Féin Lord Mayor of Belfast, Tom Hartley, and a group linked to loyalist paramilitaries. We are with the rest of society. Society is joining shoulders and we're going to stand up against these people to tell them quite clearly Northern Ireland doesn't want this no more. This evening, the series of silent protests continues with a rally in Craigavon, near to where Constable Carl was murdered on Monday night. Brendan Wright, RTE News, Belfast.